How's it going everyone? My name is Shazak and welcome back to the Naughty Project. This is part 2. I think this is gonna be the end. It's supposed to be a very short game. Without further ado, let's play. Alright, I checked out the game online and apparently you have to put the torch on the... Um, there's a bucket of tar bef behind the small thingy. There. There it is. Pitch. It's pitch. Oh, it's not tar. It was probably used for waterproofing parts of the house. It's excellent fuel too, exactly. This is what we're gonna do. I can't do it. Why not? Wait, maybe with the axe. I can't combine. Yes. Well, why not? Oh, there's a ruby there. Alright, this is where I met Jack the first time. Seeing him really gave me a fright. He appeared from behind a tree and stared at me. It was as... as... It was as if he never a girl. What? But now we're great friends. Jack is not like other children. I think he's one of the girls that Dada is looking for. He said that it's all going to change soon and that we'll, when that happens, we'll be able to stay together forever. Jeez, that's a long line. Great news. Alright. Alright, maybe we're missing something. Let me check something else here. No, there's nothing. What can we do? What's this? Oh, we need the key. Oh, a ruby. Alright, narration time again. It's all beautiful here. We're constantly submerged by Tiknot Wet. Every day, delicious fresh food reaches the harbor from the mainland. But, there is no one to stay with. Well, it's kind of deserted. Our days are long, endless. In the evening, Daddy tells me incredible bedtime stories. So, it was like I'm supposed to be house. He says this is the only place from which you can communicate with the other side. It's different since Mummy has been gone. It's kind of ironic that it's written with a big M. Reminds me of the... Uh, of the mummy. Either way, let's try to find something else. Can we check this? Oh, pipe. This valve hasn't worked for years. It won't be easy to open it. Oh, is he gonna try to force it? Well, I think I've done it. Oh god! <laughs> it spilled it. <laughs> Darn my hands. Alright. Oh, we can light it. That's very dangerous, but okay. Now I can use it. Perfect. Okay. Jeez, that took a long time. Alright, we're finally gonna be able to continue. Gosh. Okay, so it's lining up. Oh, what's going on? Oh, this is getting creepier. Are we gonna get chased by something or someone? Alright, what's going on? Oh, there's... Are there rubies inside? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, what's going on now? We got barrels. Nothing here. Let's see at the end. I'm just searching for the rubies. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a big cave. Let's start by the left. Flash drive. Oh, it's opened the door. How can an object of this kind be such a place? Well, it's said in the flash by patient note. I mean, you can pause if you want, because it's going to be a long read. Oh, 1944. So he's going to try. I suppose this is like a kind of an experiment to communicate with the dead. Oh, what is this? I've still got a headache. Another memory, so we don't need rubies here. Oh, where have I ended up now? Oh, that is a flashback. What are you doing? Okay, so we're gonna see some flashbacks, right? Oh, again, with the creepy noises, it's... Oh, I can't... Can I fall? I can't... A memory. Oh, yes. That's our sister. There's gonna be someone here. She puts the flash drive in, in the box. Wind. Oh, so we're communicating with the other side. Are those stones flying around? No, they're f Oh, I thought they were flowers. What is up? I can pick this? No. Oh, what are you doing? Hello? I must carry on. I think I've reached the end of this memory. Am I getting chased? Where's the end? Oh my god, the creepy noise is sorry, but... I don't want to get chased. Oh! <laughs> it scared me. Stop it. Oh god, what is that? No. No, 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 no. So is that how it went, Anna? What? Oh, that's... That's kind of sad. But what is going on? It's creepy and sad at the same time. Oh, tomb. There's a name engraved on it. It's gonna be Anna. Jack? Can we open this? Jack's tomb. There's a note. 
The most docile corpse buried in shadow protects from bad thoughts the living who await death by divine hand. It's very poetic. Alright, here we are. There you go. I just noticed, it's kind of surprising that it's like a flash drive is working in a 1940s uh, bunker, but either way. Let's go this way, what is this? No, nothing. What is going on here? Oh, it's just a light. Hello. Oh. No. No flickering. Sector 1. Fuelless machinery. Fuseless. It's an old generator. It won't work without its fuse, of course. This one should spare, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, the radio is working now. Excellent. Yes, all right. Can we pick something up? Crowbar. This is mine. Oh, we're gonna open some gates with it. That would be neat. Let's go check it out, actually. Can we open it with this? Oh, it said we needed a key. I need the operating manual with communication codes. Where can we find this? Wait, can we use the crowbar on something? Maybe this. Maybe the lighthouse. There's a lot of running in this game, jeez. Okay, so maybe we can open it with this. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Okay. Oh god, <laughs> how fast can you do? Discover, uh, have enough elements to unravel the story. What? Oh, is that the end? Radio tower, code book, yes. Are you for real? Okay, so now we go back to the tower. Alright. What now? I can't do it, what? Oh, I get it now. There it is. Let's hope it works. Now that I have everything, I can call for rescue. Is it gonna be weird noises? This is the correct frequency. Oh, can you hear me? Alright, so this, there's a rescue. So they received the SOS? Yes, of course. Jeremy Parker of the plane crash. There is no... Okay, coordinates. So they're coming. Great. Oh, that's nice. How fast can they... Wait, can you locate the radio signal? Oh, do you want to solve my greatest fear, Jeremy? The thought of left flying. Why? I've always been scared stiff. The noise is... What the hell? But now my vision of the world is totally different from this limbo. I've seen my father cry every night, first for my mother, then for me. He doesn't know yet, but thanks to you, I'm free to move on. I'll have warned you about your ruby. It's an extremely valuable object. I must cast you one more flavor. <laughs> flavor. Uh, when you go back. Flavor, jeez. Find my father for me. Oh, he's still alive. Tell him I miss him, and I'll wait for him here with mommy. Is that the end? Only when we're reunited, we'll be able to fly off to a better place. Oh, are we flying now? The music is so dramatic. What, what? Can I control? No. Is that the end? Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, it's a tile screen. Oh, poor girl. We never learned how she died, though. R.I.P. So sad. It I think it's the end. Something inside me changed radically. After that day, Anna appeared in my dreams for two nights in succession, showing me other fragments of her life. Her home, her family, her father. I found that man in a small abandoned house in the London suburbs on a cold December Monday. We sat down to a cup of tea and I started telling him my story. I told him about the Alan, about his daughter. He struggled to keep him... Oh, you have some typos, dude, in your text. And his eyes misted over. I saw a man stricken with remorse. At the end of the evening, we shook hands and embraced, and we parted. Did he kill his daughter? The most sincere person I've ever met. That's when I learned the greatest lesson in my life. Which is? But who could I ever tell this story to without being taken for man, man? What's the lesson? I want to learn. Most people would have thought this story crazy. But strange as it seems, it was the truth. I believe you. The end. Great. Well, it was a very soothing game, kind of confusing with all the running around. It took me, oh, and just when you think you know something, that's when you'll have to look at things from a different angle. Even if it seems ridiculous or absurd, you'll have to give it a try, dare to change, seek new ways. Thank you for playing, Matteo. Hey, I know a guy named like that.
Oh, a lot of people went in the in making these games. I thought it was only a few. Wow. Well, it was a great play. Thanks for watching, everyone. And um, I don't know. It was a soothing game. Very relaxing with the music, but kind of over dramatic at some points. You know what I mean. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. My feet.